Good afternoon, ladies. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous Thursday afternoon, and I'm here to um, with another topic, another discussion for us ladies. And before I get started, because uh, I'm not going to caption anything this time, you're going to hear lots of sounds. Uh, I am sitting on my patio. You're going to hear my wind chimes. You might even hear the gust of winds that are blowing, because I know we're having gusts of a, to probably about 20 25 miles per hour, I'm sure we probably got some storm weather that's headed this way because it is unseasonably warm. It's like in the 90s today. Uh, also, you might hear birds, you might hear a train. So, just let you know those sounds. I am sitting outside and hey, you know, I just I think it's okay to let the normal sounds of life surround you sometimes when you're doing uh, your discussions and talks. I think it's, you know, just normal. Um, I also wanted to send a shout out to one of the ladies that I'm just subscribed to. Her name, a lot of you may be subscribed to her. her name is Mahogany. Her uh, YouTube name is Mahogany Curls. And um, she was uh, selected to be one of Essence.com's blogger for natural hair. If you haven't followed her or if you are following her, we all know how beautiful and gorgeous her natural hair is. So. If your friends would have go over and send a shout out to her and congratulate her, I think that's a wonderful, wonderful stride to make on YouTube. A lot of times people think that you can't, um, you know, build some type of success on YouTube, but you can. And even if it's not monetarily, uh, it brings you so much joy and value uh, on the inside. Now I'm sitting up here and this unit you know, is like sticking to my lipstick, so excuse me. But uh, I just wanted to come today and just um, talk about. Um, being considerate. Um, I was like a third party, not really involved, but I overheard a conversation uh, of this woman, uh, and I'm not going to say where, but I was at an establishment and this conversation was taking place. And a young lady walked up and she um, was probably in society's eyes as being very, very thin. And so when she walked up, the comment comment was made to her you are so skinny and um, you know in front of everybody it was loud you know and then of course people turned around and and everybody looked just to see you know who this woman was talking about you know and that's just natural that's just a natural instinct that most people will do when someone makes a statement and I could tell that the woman was a little embarrassed and a little subconscious about that and I think a lot of times people are not consider the fact that you know just because you're thin it doesn't mean that you don't carry the same uh, complexes and insecurities that somebody that's considered to be overweight have and um, I thought about that when I when you know just by her demeanor and the way that she you know responded and you know she was a little embarrassed and um, I thought about what if she had come back and said to the woman girl you are so fat you are gaining weight because the actually the woman she was little on what society would term as plus size and if she had said that to her it would have uh, come across as being insensitive uh, unkind being inconsiderate but there's three things I think that people should um, be mindful of when you're speaking or when you're talking to people and making comments sometimes and I know you've heard it said before it is is it true is it necessary and is it is it kind a lot of times facts may be true in society's eyes but is it necessary or is it kind uh, you never know the things that you say to a person if it may be um, something that could potentially hurt their feelings, embarrass them, or make them feel subconscious. So you should be aware of the things that come from your mouth uh, when you're talking because you always need to put yourself in that person's shoes. If someone um, actually made a comment about whatever your greatest insecurities may be or something that you feel that you're subconscious about on, in your body, I mean, I'm sure that uh, a lot of people have gotten to the point where they're, you know, um, loving the skin they're in and feeling okay with who they are. But it's probably been a time when there was something about yourself that you didn't necessarily like or care for. 
or that you wish could be different or that you could change. So when you're when you're making comments to people, it's, it's it, it means a lot and it's very kind to just think about what you're saying before you say it and um, consider that person's feelings and how it may impact them. Um, it's just a beautiful thing to be always uh, mindful of the words. Words can cut like a knife. Um, I know they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. But words do hurt. Words can cut you to your core. And even though you may not show it to the public sometimes, it hurts you on the inside. So when you're making comments or when you're thinking of speaking, or sometimes even out of anger, you know, if you can take a moment, take a breath, and say to yourself these three things. Is it true? Is it necessary? Or is it kind? And if you can't say yes to all of those things, then maybe, maybe, it may be something that you want to reconsider. So I hope you guys are enjoying this pleasant afternoon here on Thursday. It's actually more toward the evening. It's around 4 p.m. And I will get back with you soon. Take care.